Uh, what's that? What was that? Parsley. Parsley flakes on top. And yeah, it tastes so. And I know we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And I delicious mac and cheese bowl so today so today all of me is I have just a little few ingredients shells any type of shells and uh, cheese but I didn't have Velveeta cheese so I just took it out of. I just took the cheese. I just took the cheese out of this box. box. We have a mess in aisle seven. I'll clean that up after. Actually, I'm not clean. Now I'll clean it up after. So right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna boil our shells with some water and. Some how are you guys doing today? What did y'all eat for dinner? Today? Okay. My husband, I told my husband, hey, I'm gonna make some mac and cheese bro. He goes disgusting. He says, that is disgusting. I said, but my grandmother used to make them. He said, disgusting. Disgusting. Just plain on that. I said, well, you haven't tried them. They're gonna be fried. No, nah, I'm not gonna eat none. That's what he said. But watch, these are gonna be so good, he gonna wish he ate some. So now we're gonna put, we're gonna start the water, we're gonna put some, sprinkle some salt. Always add salt. Salt will make the water boil faster. And we're gonna set it. I like to set my water on high just so that it cooks. Faster. And basically, what I do is I put my shells in while the water is trying to hold. Oh, we got a we got a catastrophe! Catastrophe! That's good, right? That's good, right? Because it's going to come out to be a lot anyway when it, when it cooks. So. Y'all, yeah, comment down below because I feel like when I put in raw shells in here, I feel like they be doubling. Don't y'all feel like that? Like they be doubling in, in, in not size, but like in individual pieces. Like this one piece will grow. But then it'll make another piece and another piece and another piece. And then you're like, oh. I think I made too much, but in reality, you didn't really make too much because they're, it's the same amount as you put in the pot. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's by accident. Um, can you pass me the broom? I gotta sweep this up. I gotta sweep this up, cause. And guys. You see this? We're going to let this cook, and when the mac and cheese is done, when the shells are done, I will get right back to you guys. Okay? I'll see you guys in my next clip. Hey, y'all. It's your girl. I am back right now. 
the pasta is done. I'm about to put it in this drainer to drain out the water. Yes. So all the fog. Okay. We gotta take out all the water. We fogged it up, right? You gotta clean it. So I had to clean the lens. See all the water is out. I'm gonna pour it back in here. Okay. Now we're gonna come back over here. And now we're gonna just we're gonna take these these packets. We'll see how much we need. We probably because I didn't do the whole box, we probably don't need both of them, but we will see. <laughs> Dang, so close. Okay. Just go and mix it in. Okay. Those out. We're going to mix. See, we're just going to mix it in. Now, it's just going to go like, it's just going to look like this. You don't need no milk. You don't need, because these are going to eventually turn into mac and cheese balls. No, you don't want it to be liquid or else it's not going to work. Okay, so now you got that. So now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna let it stay open until it cools down, cause it has to cool down, or else we can't do anything. I already got my. Hold on. Let me just rest this off real quick. Okay. 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 I already got my egg and my breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs that I do use. Is I just started using it. We normally don't use these. It's the go. Little Latin style breadcrumbs with saison in it. So hopefully it's good because it says it's supposed to give it a really good crisp, right? A good breakfast being with says zone total make a flavor pack crunchy corn so it's supposed to be really really crunchy. See and say zone. Okay. <laughs> Pause for the thumb. And I of course got gloves because you do have to really like mash them up. Now it's not gonna look appetizing because you really have to mash the pasta up so it's not gonna look like this you really have to like squish it together into a tight ball and you after it's done I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna show y'all I'm gonna show y'all I'm really I'm gonna show y'all because right now this just has to cool down because then it's not gonna be a ball so when this cools down I will be right back with you guys see you guys in the next clip what's up y'all so it took a very long time for these to cool off they're finally cooled off but as you can see it ain't gonna stick because we need a substance. But before I show you, let me put these this glove on. I listen. My husband just go to the store. He just goes buys anything. He don't look at the sizes. He don't do nothing. I can't even get my hand in here. Look. That was just look, look. See, I barely ripped it because he wants to buy extra small. Does my hand look like an extra small to you? No. But besides the point. Let's get into it. So you guys can see this. It's warm. It's good. It's fine as long as it's not piping The boom boom makes the small. <laughs> Whatever. So you see, you can't even make it into anything. So that's why we have breadcrumbs. Now even though you have breadcrumbs to the side, that's just to coat it. You got breadcrumbs here because you need to add some breadcrumbs here. You add some breadcrumbs. So that way when you mix it, you're going to go like this, right? Good. 
the stove eat, eats mac and cheese. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So that way, you take it, you compact it. Now this is not this is not like a um a one this is not a one two three process. You have to really sit there. You have to really you know compact it and you form form it into a bowl. Then you come over here. You dip it in the egg. Then you dip it in here. Then you just put it in the fryer until it's gold or brown or to your liking. Sometimes you see this. Sometimes you need more more uh what you call it breadcrumbs right sometimes you need more breadcrumbs like right here we need more breadcrumbs sometimes you could add an egg in here you know just a little more See, you just keep going with that. You see how it's compacting? See? It ain't gonna look like that. Make it to a circle. You may have to take some pieces off. You want a decent sized circle. Like that, see? I washed my hands, okay? Y'all ain't eating it, so y'all butt out, okay? You see how I'm squeezing it? And y'all, I ain't gonna have you guys sit here and watch me just play mashed hot potato. Okay? It's gonna look like something like this. Okay? But I have to obviously make it into a circle and I have to tighten it up a little bit. <laughs> if you guys like this video, all you have to do is subscribe. Um, the last bit is because I am going to have too many clips when I edit this. My last step is actually going to show you guys how, what they look like afterwards, after they're fried, after they're coated. Okay? So I will show you guys when they're done. Bye! y'all i am back and i am finally done <sighs> this literally damn near kills me my back hurt my feet hurt this took a very long time and i did not want y'all to be on here just looking at me for out for an hour what it took like an hour to do all this but anyway this is what they look like they have parmesan cheese on top they got uh, what's that? What was that? Parsley. Parsley flakes on top. And yeah, it tastes so, so, so good. You could eat this as my husband said. Buffalo sauce, ranch, Those ketchup. Bussin'. No lie. And he's going to give you like a full review, right? They are busting. Yep. And this is what they look like. And they actually cook really fast. They only cook fast because mac and cheese is already done. It's just to brown them and give them color. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure you click on that post notification bell to be notified every single time I post another video. If you guys want to see more videos just like this, all you got to do is comment down below. Hashtag more cooking videos. Then I will come back and show you how I make my smothered pork chops. I will do a whole nother video. Um, if you guys want to shout out, subscribe. Make sure that post notification bell is set to all. And comment down below, hashtag Team Smith Mafia. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left.
The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust No, I don't want to waste what's left And I will go Through the wastelands, through the highways 